Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. My name is Jason and I'm hanging out with Trenton behind the camera. And in today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at some new inventory that has just come in. We've got six different Civivi models that we're gonna be taking a look at. So let's hang out and talk knives right here on the Dime Knife Company. All right, guys, before we jump in, I'm gonna show you this uh, soft carrying case. Well, actually, before I show you that, I'm even gonna show you the box. If you've never purchased a Civivi knife before, um, you're gonna get a, a white box like this. It'll have the model on the side of the box. And then inside of there, you're gonna actually gonna get one of these soft carrying cases. And inside, that will be some items along with the knife. Um, so you'll get um, Civivi sticker, which we have one of those on our uh, backdrop, and then one of the Elementum stickers, which we have one of those on our backdrop as well. And then some paperwork and a soft uh, cleaning cloth with the Civivi logo on it. And your knife will be in one of these plastic sleeves that has the has the Wii Civivi, uh, if I can get a shot of it there, the Wii Civivi logo on it. And all of that is inside of this soft case with this uh, real plush lining. So super nice case if you wanna keep your knives in there, come in real handy. Now, as far as the knives, we've got two different model or two different variations of each model. Um, and these are, you know, the different colors we try to make it a little bit more appealing for everybody, get a little bit of a different flavor. I know everybody has different um, likes and dislikes, so we try to have a variety of different knives. This first one that we're gonna look at is the Odium, and it, this one is gonna be with the dark green micarta and the black stonewash D2 blade. Um, it is a, a small line, liner lock, um, for my hand, it's a little bit smaller, um, but for medium-sized hands, probably just be just fine, but you can see that it is a liner lock. And in the front scale there, you can see that it, the uh, pocket clip is reversible, so you can carry this left or right, but only tip up. And if I give you a shot of the other side, you'll be able to see that deep carry pocket clip. And you can see that it sits on top of the scales. It's um, not nested, but the screws are flush on the pocket clip, so that makes it nice. So um, a nice design does have that uh, finger twirl where you can choke up on the knife if you um, wanted to get a little bit better of a purchase and get, you know, choke up on the blade. You could do that. It does have the jimping on top where you could put your thumb up there, so I'll make it nice. Um, so it's flipper deployment along with a cutout in the blade, so you can do the reverse flick. Um, uh, that's how I prefer to open most of my knives is with the reverse flick. Um, a little bit trickier with this one since it is a smaller, smaller knife, but uh, I'll give you a shot also of the design of the back of the knife where you can see that backspacer there. So I'll give you um, the other I'll show you this other model um, or the other variation of that model. And it's gonna be this one with the, the Smooth G10. And this is the Smooth Black G10. And then same, same thing on, same material on the blade. It's just gonna be the stone, uh, gray stone washed. Both of these with the stainless steel liners. So that's the, and, and the, it is more of a polished, you can hopefully pick that up in the camera that it's polished, it, it's not grippy, it doesn't have that, that peel ply, you know, type texture on there. It is gonna be smoother. So I prefer more of a textured G10, but this does make it look a lot classier, so this might appeal to some of you out there. Same thing on the pocket clip, it is reversible. Um, but it is not nested, sits on top of the scale, but 
the screws are flush mounted into the pocket clip. So everything's the same except for the scales on this one and then the finish on the knife. So that one's the Odium and um, these are gonna be running $34.99 at the store. Now, if you go online, we will leave the link to all of these knives um, and then you can jump over to the manufacturer and see what their prices look like. But as far as what we're gonna be offering at the store, these are gonna run $34.99. Now this next model right here that we're gonna look at is the bow. And this one again is in the uh, dark green micarta. Now looking at the front scale here, you'll see that there is no screw holes for the pocket clip. So this is only gonna be right hand carry tip up only. Um, again, with the liner lock and the flipper. And you can see inside there that they have been skeletonized to keep the weight down. Open construction with those barrel spacers back there. And you can also see that on the back here, they do give you that post for the lanyard if you wanna put some cordage or paracord through there. Does give you the deep carry pocket clip. Again, sitting on top of the scale, but um, only on that right hand side. And then we do have this option um, as well. Um, in uh, G10, the Smooth G10, I'll show you that in just a second. Both of these are gonna have the Nitro V uh, blade steel. And this one is the black stone washed, which I really like, I think it looks really sharp. And I like that on the front of the knife, there is um, no logo, just completely plain and clear. And I think it just looks really nice. So let me give you a shot of this next one, which is gonna be with the black G10 and this one is this one's polished and it's even polished more than the Odium. So it's really, really smooth. You might even pick up how it's picking up some sheen from the lighting. So really, really classy looking. Uh, gray stone washed, Nitro V blade, and uh, everything else is the same. And there's the uh, same deep carry pocket clip. So this one is the bow and this one is gonna be running, both of these uh, variants for the bow are running $39.99 at the store. And uh, again, if you wanna use the links that we're gonna give down, you can get the pricing online for what those would go for. This next one that we're gonna look at, the Lumai, um, this one's a front flipper and uh, super snappy on that front flip. And again, these are all medium size to, you know, they're smaller size knives. Um, but you can see on this one, it is gonna be left or right carry. And also you'll see that the pocket clip will nest down into the, to the scale. So I'll give you a shot of that here in a second. There's the liner lock. You can see the detent ball in there. And the blade material on this one is gonna be uh, stone washed, 14C, 28N. And then it's got a single barrel spacer right there in the back, back end of the knife, if I can get that to focus for you. And then there, there is your deep carry pocket clip. And you can see that it's not 100% nested, but it, there is a little bit of a, of a cut out in the scale for it to sit down, but the, the screws are, are flush mounted into the pocket clip, so that should be nice getting it in and out of the pocket. But very, very smooth feeling. It's got a little bit of, little bit of texture um, on that G10. It's not as um, slick as the bow, but still doesn't have that, that texture that normal G10 would have. It's not grippy at all. But another uh, thin carry, another uh, knife that would be nice in slacks or um, in some shorts or what have you, something you don't want to weigh you down, maybe even in a front pocket uh, on your shirt. Well, I know some of, some of you guys like to carry them uh, like that. So not going to take up a lot of space in, in your pocket. So that one's a Lumai, and this one's going to run um, $32.99 at the store. Now the next one that we're gonna look at is gonna be the Dogma. And this is gonna be a step up from the size as far as the knives we've already looked at. This is gonna be a larger, I would say this is a, on the larger size compared to those. 
um, you can see just when I put that in my hand, I got a full grip on it and you can see that it's sticking out a little bit. So definitely a fuller fill, filling knife in the hand. So this one's gonna have the, uh, the OD Green G10 scales that have been kind of jigged out and make it, make it look like if it was uh, bone. And then I like how they put those lines there across the uh, G10 to make it look like a bolster as well. So it's a cool looking knife. Um, and you can see back there towards the end, they've got some holes through the liners that you can put your cordage through there if you wanted to. Um, this one's gonna be satin finished D2 uh, steel on the blade which is really nice looking hollow grind on that blade, clip point, swedge on the top, and then the cutout in the blade as well is gonna give you another option to be able to deploy this um, you know, with that reverse flick if you don't wanna use the flipper tab. Does have a choil that you could choke up on. It's not real huge, but you could use that to choke up on it. But there is no jimping on the top of the blade. You can see the spine there, there's no, there's no jimping, but it, it's still, it's not sharp feeling, so if you do use that, um, it feels comfortable. So there's no hot spots. I think you could do that. Um, and then this one is going to be, the pocket clip is going to be reversible, so you could, you know, carry that left or right, but only tip up. And same thing from pretty much for all these models, they're, the pocket clip's just going to be sitting on top of the liners. And then we do offer this one in the gray as well. So we'll, I'll show you that one, which is gonna be this model right here. And I really like the color on this gray. I really like green handles, but this gray one just really, really looks nice. So you can see how it's jigged out there on the front. I think it looks nice with that satin blade finish. And then the same thing here. And they look, they both look nice um, with that big backspacer there, the, the matching color. Kind of get that contrast between the stainless steel liners and then that uh, G10. So, looks really nice. Not very, very thick on the blade stock. Um, and with that hollow grind, this should be a real, real slicey knife. So just overall, good looking knife. All right, and this next one we're gonna look at, um, when I ordered this for the store, um, well, I'll show you the knife before I open it, but um, I thought this knife was um, a liner lock, and um, unfortunately, it's not. Um, they have it labeled wrong. It's actually a liner lock. I mean, it's not a liner lock, it's actually a slip joint. But uh, either way, it's a really good looking knife. I just, uh, I mean, I appreciate liner locks, but I'm not a, I mean, a slip joint. But I, I'm just not, I'm not huge on carrying slip joints just for the fact that uh, I'm, I'm always afraid that I'm gonna do something with the knife that I shouldn't do and it's gonna end up folding up on me and. I just feel more comfortable with a knife that I know has got a lock on it and it's, it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay open. But uh, either way, just a really good looking knife, um, feels good in the hand. Um, you can see the pocket clip, deep carry there, and it is left or right carry tip up. And um, on, on this knife here in particular, these, this knife is gonna have 8CR 14 MOV and it's got that stone washed, the gray stone washed finish on it. So really good looking knife. And then I'll show you the other model is going to have the, the black G10 on it. And that's going to be this model here. Everything else is going to be the same, just a color change on the scales. They both look good. And uh, if you like slip joints and you want, you know, you like want to carry one that uh, will be more modern and has a has a pocket clip, and you know, maybe you, you're left-handed, want to carry left-handed, this might be an option for for you guys out there. Um, 
but me personally, I, I think the knife uh, would have been, at least for me, it would have been uh, better suited if it, if it actually was a liner lock and not a slip joint. But that one is called the Fracture. Now this next one and the last one that we're gonna be looking at today is the Riffle. And that's gonna be this one here. It's gonna be the largest knife that we're looking at today. Um, you can see this one here is gonna have the dark green micarta uh, handle and then it does have the, uh, the gray stone washed um, blade on it. And this one's gonna be the 14C28N blade material. Um, just a really good looking knife on, on all of these models. Um, I like the blade shape on this. It's got that large cut out of the blade so you could use that to deploy the blade if you didn't want to use the flipper. I do like that they've milled out the hole in the flipper there so that gives that a little bit of character. Um, but it is a liner lock. And you can see the open construction there except for the back spacer which on these models it's actually micarta and not G10 so it matches the scales which is really cool. And they can see the deep carry pocket clip there. And then they do give you the post there at the end if you want to put some cordage around there. And um, the pocket clip is going to be reversible to the front, but only tip up carry. But just your standard, you know, like all the rest of them. It sits right there on top of the uh, scale. But really nice, really nice design. A little bit wider of a handle. Um, it's still thin though, but with the wider handle, it, it does give you a good purchase um, on the knife. And you can see that it is a larger knife. It's right, right past the edge of my hand. Um, they do give you the jimping there on the top. So if you want to choke up on it and use, use that, it's very comfortable. It's not aggressive at all, and it feels really nice. So this one is the uh, dark green micarta. And then we also have it in the olive which is gonna be, a, um, this model here is just a lot lighter um, option for you for the micarta scales. So I, I really prefer this one. I really like the color on this, on this knife. Looks really good, but I'm a fan of green handles. So this lighter green is more of a green color than the darker. The darker micarta kind of looks more of like a grayish, uh, blackish, you know, almost like a dark, charcoal color more than than green so this one definitely has got the green vibe going on and i like that that uh micarta backspacer there as well i like that contrast you get so these are the six models that we have that we're adding to our civivi offerings at the store um i i hope that you guys have seen something here on the table that you like um Hopefully you have, and uh, like I said, we'll leave the links to each of these knives down in the description box, and um, you guys can jump over there and check them out. So let me bring you guys back out, and I'll give you my final thoughts for this episode. All right, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully we've showed you something here that uh, you like. Use those links, jump over there and check out the online pricing. If you're local to us here in the Corpus Christi area, um, our store is here in Portland, Texas. You can check us out. You can Google us. We are in Google Maps. You can get our store hours and get the directions. Um, well, that's pretty much going to do it. Before we get out of here, though, I don't think that I mentioned the price on the Riffle. And this one is going to be going for $35.99 at the store. So... Hope you enjoyed the uh, episode for all of our previous viewers and our subscribers. Thank you so much for your continued support. We really appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right, until the next one, you guys know the deal. Let's be sure to keep those tips up.